Yo, what up, fam? It's your boy, Big Walt, back with another episode of Blockchain University. Now, I'm assuming you're here because you're an aspiring Ethereum blockchain developer, and you've determined that you're going to test your smart contracts on the Rinkeby test network. Now, you know you need Ether, at the very minimum, to pay for gas. So we're going to show you how to get testy for Rinkeby, and we're going to show you two options. One being directly from the Rinkaby faucet and the other from an alternative source. Anyway, let's dive right in. Rock with me. All right, fam. So we're going to dive right on in here. And the first thing I want you to do is look at the Rinkaby dashboard. So if you go over to rinkaby.io, you will see the dashboard. This is basically the, the health of the, of the platform, basically of the test network. And you can find, you know, various pieces of information here that can be useful. Uh, one of the things that I'll draw your attention to, however, is this crypto faucet right here on the left hand side. Now, first, you know, off the rip, we see that the faucet's offline. And that is, um, it's kind of hit or miss. Some days I come here, it's up. Some days I come here, it's down. You really need it to be up in order to get the ETH that you want. So we're gonna go through the process anyway. Um, what it wants you to do uh, in order to get testing from this faucet is to authenticate yourself. And they give you a number of means to authenticate. You can see right here, that there's a, a way to use Twitter to authenticate yourself and there's a way to use Facebook. <clears throat> We're gonna use Twitter for this example, for this demo, um, and you'll see how to do it. So first thing, you're going to go get your, uh, your wallet address. And I am going to just select, um, we'll stick with this. I got a few different wallets. Let's select my dev4 wallet because it's got low uh low testing i'm gonna copy my wallet address and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to twitter and i am going to tweet nothing but my address my wallet address uh and then i will tweet that next thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to oh this is the new twitter or it didn't send it immediately then I'm basically going to go to that tweet, copy the URL to that specific tweet, and then go back to the faucet and paste the address in here. And this is how it will authenticate. Me. And then I can either get three ether uh, with the ability to request more in eight hours. I can request 7.5 ether with the ability to request more a day later, or I can request 18.75 either uh but but basically be like you know frozen out of the system for three days i typically go for the gusto i don't i don't know that i've ever done it with less than the 18.75 um i'd rather uh make that larger request um and then not worry about it for three days now typically what will happen is up here all these requests you know you'll see coming through and then you'll see your own request come through uh, and then it'll grant you your ether um your test ether and and then that'll be that but because it's offline we get this ugly red faucet offline message and if i go to my wallet um you'll see that my balance is the same there's no there's no additional transactions because it didn't work um if you catch this and it's online follow the steps that i just outlined you'll be good to go lucky for us though if the rink and B faucet's down, there is an alternative. There's somewhere else that we can go get ether, albeit less than what we would normally get if we were using the rink and B faucet. Anyway, let's go over to Chainlink. Excuse me, Chainlink has a number of different faucets and we can we can use those faucets to get some testing. So let's uh, select the, where is, oh yeah, there it is, the rink and B. Uh, faucet and then we'll connect our wallet via metamask i'm going to use my def4 wallet and i'm going to connect 
and you can see it switched me over to Rinkeby. Um, and it's already got my wallet address so I can get 20 test link and that's basically uh, tokens that you need to, to test your chain link stuff, but it also give, will give you 0.1 test ETH. Uh, and all you have to do is go through the capture. I need to select living rooms. Um, I hope I can select living rooms. That looks like a living room. That looks like a living room. Let's see, um, more living rooms. That looks like a living room. This looks like a lobby. That looks like a living room. Uh, I'm gonna say the lobby is a living room. All right, so I'm a human. So now I can send my request and it's going through the process. There it is. So everything's been confirmed and the tokens have been transferred. I'm gonna go ahead and, well, I'll leave this open for a second. If I look at my wallet, um, I will see that I have received 0.1 ETH. So now I have 2.5637 ETH as opposed to the 2.4 that I had previously. And that is all to the good. Um, yep. So I was able to get some test ETH and I, I think um, there's no time limit on how often you can make these requests. Uh, but you are going to have to go through this capture every single time. So um, even though it's just 0.1 ETH, honestly, you should be able to, to do quite a bit with that. Um, and like I said, you can make multiple requests to get more. So that's it, fam. That's all you need to go out and get yourself some testing. It really is that simple. They go out and build that hotness. Until next time. Hollow.